Hi friends, this is Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis. I've been journeying through my 40s, trying really hard to get my poop in a group. I'm doing this by working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health, and today's video is going to be a financial health video. Though I have learned as I've been going how closely related those three things are. Um, so it's really interesting to me to be finding that out. But today I'm going to be trying to focus primarily on financial. Um, I will be mentioning a little bit about mental and a little bit about physical just because they are going to be impacting my budget. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I tried to film this video earlier this morning. It's Friday afternoon. I'm on my lunch and again I took a super late lunch. It's like three o'clock already. Um, but I tried to film it this morning and I did my famous Becky hit the S button and stopped recording and didn't realize it. Um, I was trying to type pets and I hit the S and I stopped recording and I didn't know it until I went to do my playback but then I had to go to work. I didn't have time to uh, fix it. So y'all get to see me and start over from scratch. I also have made some adjustments and I just realized my mouse is sitting there. I made some adjustments since I did it this morning. So let me start off by saying that I have, um, if, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've talked about wanting a new car and I've been talking about it for since I've had this channel. I've been wanting a new car since last year about this time when I saw the Toyota RAV4 and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I wanted a hybrid. I went and test drove one a couple of months ago but the prices were just astronomical. Um, and then I just kind of backburnered it. I was like, I don't need it. Becky, calm down. You don't need a car. Um, and then the bug got really, really strong again this weekend. But I still can't afford a Toyota RAV4. Like, I just can't. As beautiful as they are and as much as I love them, they're out of my price range right now. So I was looking for a car that was comparable, that was a very good car, that had very high reviews. And I was just searching for good, what was I looking for? Like, affordable, good affordable or affordable, reliable hybrid cars. And every list had the RAV4 on it, obviously, but they all also had the Kia Sportage Hybrid, which I didn't even know Kia had a Sportage. I mean, I knew they had a Sportage. I didn't know they had a hybrid for the Sportage. Um, apparently, it's new for 2023, so that's why I didn't know anything about it. You know, I love that car. It is very comparable to a Toyota, but the inside is so cool looking, like so cool. And I have been driving Kias for the last, uh, since 2009, Memorial Day of 2009, I bought my first Soul. And it is now September, almost Labor Day of 2022. So it's been a very long time, oh, like over eight, over 10, I don't know how to math, 13 years. It's been 13 years I've been driving a Kia. And I haven't had any problems with them. I drove my first Soul until it had well over 100,000 miles on it, traded it in for a new Soul. I have almost 90,000 on this one. And again, it's still going strong. I don't need a new car. But y'all, I want one so bad. So I went and test drove, but nobody, nobody has hybrids. Like nobody. Not the Sportages anyway. I could get a Sorento, but they are they again are out of my price range like the one that they had on the lot was $51,000 and that is I can't do that not not and keep up my method my way of living that I've gotten used to doing um so anyway I'd, I'd have to really severely cut things and I'm just not willing to do that for a car I don't need and it was bigger than I'm used to I love the Sportage so I test drove it I called dealerships all around Texas I called dealership in Arkansas and I finally called a dealership in New Mexico, like in El Paso, not uh, in, uh, what's that town? It's right there on the border of El Paso, uh, New, in Las Cruces. I called a dealership in Las Cruces, and they were the only one of all the dealers that I called that were willing to do a, an order and put me on a wait list. So I went on to Kia, I built my car, I put $1,000 down, which I'm going to have to cover, um, and I am now on a wait list for my Kia Soul. I mean, sorry, my Kia uh, Hybrid, my Sportage. I don't know how long that's going to take. So here's my plan. I have done my budget out through December, including a $600 car payment in it, just so I can get used to having that car payment, making sure I can do it. I don't know how long my wait list is. It could be up to six months. If it goes beyond 120 days, I'm allowed to cancel that deposit and get my full refund. Like I get the full thousand dollars back at 120 days. 
If before 120 days I am looking at my budget and it's just not going to work for me, I can cancel. I'm just going to lose $100 of it. So I'll get $900 back. They keep $100. So I haven't fully committed. I have tentatively gotten approved for financing, but I did that before I realized that I just wasn't going to be able to find a car. So that financing, I'm sure, will expire before I get the car in. So that stinks that I took that hit to my credit to get the financing, but it's nice to know that I am approved and that if and when I am ready to get a car, I have the ability to get a car. So that's my mental part. My mental part was working that uh, that really strong, like just I needed a car um, into my budget. And then the physical part is if you've been following me, you'll know that I have been having a lot of stomach issues and I finally had my follow up with the GI on Wednesday. And um, was it Wednesday? Yeah, it was Wednesday. Um, and he ordered a, he wants to do like an ultrasound, fiber, something or other, I don't know, a bunch of labs, and then he wants to do an endoscopy. And I have a high deductible insurance plan, which means I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pay for all of these things up until I meet my out-of-pocket, which I think I have like another $2,500 for. So that's also going to really affect my budget and maybe possibly my car. So, and that all came after I put the deposit down on my car. So I'm very glad that I haven't actually fully committed to anything for my car and I can still cancel it if I need to because the last thing I want to do is go into credit card debt and have credit card debt and a car payment. So I'm just going to let it play out how it plays out and see what happens. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and budget out the paycheck that I received today and I'm going to be including that $600 car payment into it. I'm going to just be putting it into my new car category. Um, because I had to put the $1,000 down, What I'm and I did use my card for that so I could get cash back because why not take advantage of cash back? Um, I'm going to pull the $600 for this month's car payment and then I'm going to pull $200 out of... Um, my 52 week challenge and $200 out of my emergency fund. That way I'm not draining either of them. And then next month when I put my car payment away, I will refill those two that I emptied with this. Um, so after two months, I will have paid my deposit and then put an additional $200 down. And then I'll just keep going, excuse me, I'll just keep going from there um, for the car payment. So that is my plan. It sounds great. We'll see how it works out in reality. But for now, let's get this started. Um, Y'all, I did it again. And I I don't want to complain because it's an awesome thing. Thanks to YNAB and budgeting and all of this that I am able to do this. But I forgot it was payday. I totally didn't realize that I was getting paid today. My weeks are all off. Like my life has just been so all over the place. I don't know what's going on. So I forgot it was payday. <laughs> But it is, it's payday. So the money I have to budget today is this, uh, which is my check. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it out. Normally what I do is on my first paycheck of the month, I will fill all of my sinking funds just to get them out of the way. But because I'm doing that additional $600 out of this check, there are like three sinking funds that I'm gonna save until next week just to make sure I have enough cash before if Seth doesn't pay me before those bills are due which I don't know because he never pays me on the same day his car payments not due till the end of the month but he normally pays me in the middle of the month when he gets paid but there's not like a set date that he has to pay me as long as he pays me by the 27th I don't care um because that's when his car payments due so just to make sure all of the bills and the sinking funds that like my envelopes my variable expenses are covered for next week I am going to put those sinking funds onto next week as, and then when Seth pays me, I'll fill those. Um, but that way I make sure I'm covered. Okay, so let's start with this. Dining out, this is a paycheck week, so I get 30, nope, I get $40. Groceries get $75 every week and fun money gets $10 every week. Gas, I did just fill up, so I shouldn't need anything, but it is the week to put money in there. I put $50 in every other week. And I am planning to go see my mom this weekend, so it won't empty my car. I'll still probably be okay, but I'd rather have the money there and not need it than not have it and be like, oh no, I need to pull money from somewhere. Pet expenses, again, I don't think I need anything, but I put $50 a month and I'm just going to fill it up right now. Household, I do absolutely need some things, so I am glad that it is time to put money in there. Self-care. 
<laughs> it is time to get my nails done because if you watched last week's videos, you know I had ice ball and I will include, I will put some pictures of myself at ice ball. I got my hair done, I got all dressed up, um, and I went with a very, very amazing group of beautiful people um, and we had a wonderful time. And um, I won't post pictures of them because I don't have everybody's consent, but I will post pictures of myself um, here for you to see. But anyway, I spent my, my money doing that. So my updo was only $45, and then I tipped her the extra $15 to reach the $60. But then um, it is time to get my nails done. But I'm thinking maybe I can cut my nails out. I don't need to get my nails done. And that's $120 a month that I spend on average on nails. And that's, you know, that's a nice chunk of money. That's a, a, like, I don't know what I could do. That's an extra grocery trip, like an extra 75 bucks to our groceries. That's an extra money in my savings that I could put away. That's another $100 for my down payment that I could put. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and see, but I'm going to try not to touch it. So we'll see how I do. Um, ecclesial expenses. This I do $40 a week. This is my church donation and $25 a month to budgeting. Okay, that is everything for that category. Now I'm going to fill the bills that are due between now, today, the 2nd, and next Thursday, which is the 8th. So I have my AFLAC, which was my supplemental insurance, and I actually need to file an AFLAC claim. So that will give me... Ooh, good thing it's not that much money. That would that would hurt. It's $82.55, not $825. Um, I need to file a claim for my uh, doctor's visit that I had last week. And get some money back from them. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like 60 bucks, but hey, 60 bucks, I'll take it. Um, and then 1623 for my Adobe, 1091 for my Adobe Plus, and then found is $99, not in 99 cents, just $99. Um, I have also decided that as much as I do like found and it is working for me, that's an, an additional $100 a month that I don't need to spend. Um, so I have committed to six months. That is up I have September and then October, and then that'll be the end of my six-month commitment. I think I'm going to at least pause it for now um, just to save myself that $100 a month. Again, nothing against Found. I do think it's working. It's just I, I am trying to fit a car payment into my budget now, so wherever I can save money, I'm going to try to save some money. If I go into December, January, like through the holidays, and I'm like, I really need to get back on bound, I'll work it back into my budget if I can. But it's not a priority that I might be. I don't know. I'm going to cancel it after next month, and then we'll see how that goes. And then that's it for this section that I have to pay. I have already paid Best Buy for this month, and I don't owe any money on these. These are ready to go. I just need to make those payments. And then, okay, what, I need to look at my list for this because I need to remember which ones I said. There were three that I cut out. So car maintenance is still getting funded. That is getting its $50 for the month. Gifts is getting its $50, and Tip is getting her $50. Though she has not really been asking me for money lately, y'all, so maybe it's just $100 for gifts, or maybe I'll just move that to my savings if I don't spend. I always spend my giving. I don't know. I don't even know what I do. Like, I know tomorrow I'm going to probably take my mom and nephew out for lunch. So that'll probably cost me a bunch of money. And that'll, you know, because we go out. So if you've been following me, you know that yesterday, yesterday, the 1st of September, was would have been my father's 40th, uh, 42nd birthday. That's not true. I'm 42. It would have been my father's 72nd birthday, 74th. I don't even know, y'all. My dad would have been 74 years old yesterday. It's also the two-year anniversary of his funeral. And then um, earlier this week was the two-year anniversary of his passing. And then last week was the uh, like eight-year anniversary of my friend Troy's passing. So it's been an emotional month. This time last year, I started to dip. Um, so I'm trying to really keep an eye on my emotions and on my spending and make sure I'm not slipping into those bad habits. And I'm... I'm really hoping that the car isn't related to those emotions. I don't know. Um, maybe it is. I don't know, but we'll see. And I'm going to do a mental health check-in as well. But 
because it is the anniversary of my dad's birthday and my dad's passing, I am going to go in and take my mom out for lunch tomorrow and spend that afternoon with her. Um, to spend some time with her. I haven't seen her since we got back from high. So that was the very beginning of August. And it's been a month since I've seen my mom. So I really want to go see her. Um, anyway, so I'll probably spend a good chunk of that money. $20. I just leave $20 in this stuff I forgot to budget for. That's my miscellaneous. That's my, if I need to pull money from somewhere, that's the first place it comes from. If I get an unexpected bill that's less than $20, I pull it from there too. Um, okay. That's that, that, and then clothes. Is clothes on here? Yes, clothes is on here. Clothes is getting its $25. And, oh, there's my auto assign. I couldn't find it. Passport renewal gets $1.77. Holiday giving gets $45. YNAB, y'all, we are fixing to fully fund YNAB. Ready for this? That is fully funded. That is ready to go. When we roll into October, that will be... Um, that will be the next year that I'll be starting saving for. So again, I have a couple of months of free, I think two months of free YNAB, thanks to you awesome people who have signed up for YNAB. YNAB is this, uh, this program that I am using to do my budgeting. And I am working on the video that I promised. Um, a lot of people showed a lot of interest in that where I said I'm gonna go back to when I first started. I took screenshots, I found my screenshots, I found my notes, and I found some old videos that I had made at the time um, because I was thinking about doing this back when I started this like over a year ago. It's almost two years ago. Um, Anyway, I was thinking about doing this, so I made all these notes and videos and things just so I could track it. And now I'm going to compile that into a video so you can see where I was and how much of an impact this has had on my life. Like, I can't even begin to describe to you the impact. Like, you'll just have to wait for that video and see because, honestly, it's amazing. Um, if you are interested in this in this program, it is $100 a, a year. It is pricey, not a month, a year. It is a little bit pricey, but... It is 100, 1,000% worth it for me because it, I would not be in the position to even think about making, uh, buying a car if I didn't have this program. I wouldn't even, like, I, I wouldn't even know where my money was. Um, it has completely changed the way I work with money, I think about money, I track my money, and I save my money. This has changed everything. Um, if you are interested in trying it, I have a link in my description box. You will get 34 days for free automatically. Um, and then, but you don't put any credit card information, no bank information, nothing. So you just sign up, you get access to it, you start it out. And then if you like it and you want to sign up for it, at that point you would put in your credit card information. And if you've used my link or the link of anybody else who has YNAB, if you have a friend who has it, I won't be mad. Just want everybody to have it. <laughs> um, then you get an additional 34, uh, 30 days for free, and so does the person whose link you used. So you get 64 days for free. I or your friend would get 30 days for free, and then everybody has YNAB. So it's a win-win-win situation for everybody. Okay. YNAB spiel of you know, I promise they don't pay me. I just love them so much. Um, so anyway, I'm fully funded for YNAB. So I had, do have a couple of free months. I don't know if that means they're going to wait until those two months are over before they charge me or if they will deduct two months price off of what they pull. I don't know how it works because I've never had three months before. So we'll see. I do pay for it annually. You can also pay for it monthly. Wondershare, is, this is my bad. So remember a couple of months ago, I was like, guys, there was this really great deal on Wondershare and I signed up for it and it was less than like the, the regular price, the pro price, the regular price and I got pro, it was go. It was the Go version. It was the mobile version. I never use the mobile version. <sighs> Always read what you're buying, y'all. So I thought that I had extended it to 2023. I didn't. It's fixing to come up for renewal next month. So now I have to put in extra money um, this month to make sure when it comes up next month, it is covered. So that is $17.50 instead of $2.50, which stinks, but whatever. And Sam's Club, I put away... Apparently $4.09 a month. Is that right? Yes, that is right. $4.09 a month. And I know I've talked about doing the plus, but I think I'm going to not. So I did some math, and I had looked at it before. And to with the percentage back that you get, I don't spend enough money at Sam's Club to even make back the difference in price between the regular membership and the plus membership in that percentage back, let alone 
bonus off of it. So unless I have any big purchases coming up, like I don't even know what a big purchase would be, but it, like if I don't, I don't even know. I can't even think of a situation where I would be like, oh, I'm going to go spend a thousand dollars at Sam's Club. I'd better upgrade to Plus. But if that happens, I will upgrade to Plus. Maybe Christmas time because they sell TVs and computers and stuff. So maybe, maybe that will happen. And at that point, I will upgrade my membership. But for now, for me on my regular basis, I maybe spend a hundred bucks a month there. Um, and that's not even every month. Sometimes it's just 50. I do buy my dog food there and that's like between 50 and $60. Um, and that's, that's a monthly thing. But other than that, sometimes I buy meat there. And when the kids are here, I buy produce there. Though their produce was not very good this summer. Like, I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Does anybody else go to the Lake Line Cost, uh, Sam's Club? excuse me in Austin because their produce it went bad like instantly this summer it was awful and these kids eat produce like quickly and it still went bad on them so I don't know anyway so that that's my that's my I have to go into detail about everything sorry um and then what is this registration is getting it's eight dollars and 66 cents this has one more month it's due in October Taxes is one that I am waiting until next week to pay. Emergency fund is fully funded. 52 week challenge gets $53 every week. Exciting. Pet emergencies I am funding next week. There was another one. Oh, and vacation. Did I put money in vacation? Because if I did, I shouldn't have. Uh, I don't even know where my vacation fund is. I did not okay good but i didn't also put it oh my goodness i put 25 dollars in vacation instead of in clothes okay so vacation registration i'm sorry vacation pet emergencies and taxes are all getting funded out of next week after i get seth's money just to make sure everything is covered and then i think that's it i'm going to put the 600 dollars into new car and I have less left than I thought I should. I am missing $45. Why do I do this, y'all? This happens to me. I'm sure somebody caught it. I'm sure somebody saw it and is yelling at the screen right now and will leave me a message in the comments telling me what I did. But what did I do? 10, 10, 50, 50, 50, 60, 40, 25. That's all right. Uh, 10, 16, 99. Oh, I didn't put my contacts in either. So then I'm even more short. Hang on. I say I should have 179.64 left. Whoa, that's big. 179.64 and I actually have 113.39 which is $66.25 which is not the amount of anything that I have. Okay, I don't know. If y'all saw it, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to go through and look for it on my own. Car maintenance, giving, giving, stuff, clothes, houseport, holiday, wonder share. Unless I just mathed wrong on my page. Which is entirely possible. Hold on one moment. Okay, y'all, I found it. Uh, it was my 52-week challenge. I must have hit under fund instead of hitting, of just putting the $53 in. So it's all okay. I found it, $53 here, which leaves me $179.64, which is exactly what I said I would have. $179, ah, sorry, $179.64. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Um, so we're good on that. Phew, because what I need to cover my bills for next month next week in my variable expenses is one seventy like eight dollars so 
This way I'm covered for my variable and my bills until Seth pays me and then I can do the rest of my sinking funds. Okay, y'all. This has been long and rambly and confusing because Becky, but I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Do you have any fun plans coming up this weekend? What are you doing? Go ahead and give this video a like on your way out. It really does help my channel. And if you haven't yet and you are enjoying my, in, my uh, content, go ahead and hit subscribe and that notification bell. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day wherever you are. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.